some things you see in this show could be disturbing. So, with that further said, viewer discretion is advised. Obviously, I never knew that I was going to be questioning anything of my life at age 18. I thought I was going to be a mature adult, but inside I still feel like a growing child. That's just my honest opinion on it, so this is me. All right, let's go ahead and tell you a little bit about what was going on in late 2022 to early 2023. So, late 2022, I was working on the beginning of Man I Don't Feel 18. I was in the initial stages of Man I Don't Feel 18 being an album. I was working on Mad About 18 the first track that came off of the album. I was also re-recording Before You Go Away because I no longer had the audio file on hand. So I... I... Sorry, I'm, I gotta move this a little bit more. So it was a lot that I didn't expect obviously with this project so Man I Don't Feel 18 came out on April 22nd so Man I Don't Feel 18 has been out since then with 35 songs on this on the album on the standard edition then the deluxe edition came out and there was 52, 52 tracks on the album. That was when I started working on Folklore. This project is not out yet as I'm recording this, so I can't talk really much about the about it. As I'm recording this, I actually announced my next album titled Karma. Karma is an album that I'm haven't started on working on yet because it don't come out till May of 2024 so I don't think I really need to go ahead and start on it right away you know well I'm still not finished on Folklore's recording if I'm being honest with you guys I'm still not done with that one. So, I do have the instrumentals for the rest of the tracks, but I've not recorded yet. This is supposed to be my most confident album. And my confidence was ruined. What am I going to do now? The other night, somebody went ahead and told me my music fucking sucked. So I went ahead and told them off, and I got banned off of Xbox for four days. And I, I just don't know what's going on now. I just don't. I guess so. Uh, after that happened, I lost confidence in myself, and... I don't know what I'm going to do now, because now this album comes out in less than, less than three months. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this album. I really don't. I have no fucking clue. None. And... For somebody to tell you that your music sucks. 
I've had many trolls, but this was a person that I thought I was friends with. But he ended up being a dick. And I called him out for it, and he reported it to Xbox. Reported me calling him out to Xbox. Got me banned for four days. And... All I was doing was defending myself for what he was doing. He was taking all my confidence away. That was what he was doing. He was taking all my fucking confidence away in one to two to five words. It takes a whole lot to go ahead and take down my confidence. A whole fucking lot to take down my confidence. And it worked. Last night I cried and I'm almost crying right now. For what this person did. He insulted me. He insulted me on multiple statues. I really wish that that person would have kept his mouth shut. I really do. Because he's normally a nice person, but then he sends me a text message saying, Your music sucks. I told him not everyone has to like my music, and he said, But it still sucks. And then I said, Go be a dick to someone else. I'm not the person that you should be being a dick to. And he reported me for for that and he went ahead and got me banned. For four days I'm like, find someone else to be a jerk to. And I should have said that because Xbox has certain rules and statues and I... Why do they have these kind of rules? When I told Xbox I was defending myself because they were, he was going ahead and telling me my music sucked. I told him not everyone has to like my music. And then he was like, but it still sucks. I'm like, go bother someone else. Someone else. I didn't. I didn't want to get banned for it. I got banned for defending myself. That's stupid. Really, that's very stupid. I wish he wouldn't have done that. Really. Oh my gosh. Also, some more information about the end of 2022. In 2022, I identified as non-binary. I went by they, them pronouns for t four months. Then people saw it and were like, why do you identify as this? You're a guy. And I went ahead and faced facts. I'm like, you're right. I'm a guy. And then I changed my pronouns to he back to he, him. I'd rather be called a he, him instead of they, them, because obviously I didn't know what to think about it. Really, I didn't. I felt outcast for those four months, so as soon as I as soon as Man I Don't Feel 18 came out, I was more excited for that than, than as a non-binary person then. So I went ahead and I was like, I'm a male again. I no longer identify through they, they, them pronouns because it just caused me a lot of problems. It just caused me a lot of problems, and I don't wish that on any person ever, ever.
I'm going into early 2023 now. In early 2023, I was I was really seeing Shaken Up and Self Pity. Those are the two songs I released on January 31st. At the little end of January and the beginning of February. I guess this is the part I have to reveal some stuff. So I do have autism. I do go ahead and stop talking sometimes. And my autism is the main key why I flipped out the way I did on that on that text. So that's why I flared up on the text because I was out of my mind at the time and I really was angry at him because he was telling me something I do I already knew. I don't have the best voice in the world by any means at all. I don't have a perfect voice. No one has a perfect voice. There's stars that slip up all the time. And people don't go ahead and acknowledge it. And this one person acknowledges that I did something wrong. And I don't have that many followers on my stuff. So I ignored it. I tried to ignore it, but he got to me, and I went ahead and flipped out. I really think that this text message was a result of toxic masculinity. I really do, and I don't wish this on any other person. Ever. I don't wish this on anyone. Nobody. And... And I, I've never met him. He was pretty much my Kanye West and Taylor Swift. He made me feel like Taylor Swift from 2009 VMAs. That's what happened. He made me feel like that. And I, sorry, I really hope he knows he messed up bad he messed up bad by telling me that I sucked